In this canal, there's something in the water. This is the Waste Shark, an autonomous robot that's taking on a challenge. And it's a big one. With some estimates, there could be hundreds of millions of metric tons of plastic pollution circulating in the marine environment. It's a problem in canals, rivers, oceans, all around the world. But is this drone the answer? Marine plastic is a relatively new challenge that we face, but we're treating it with very old methods. People in boats fishing out plastic all day long. And I looked around and couldn't find anything that was new, that was trying to tackle this problem. So eventually I just sort of said, well, what about robots? And then I started to create my own dream of how I would do it. And, and this is really the reality of that. The actual hardware is just a catamaran hull with a basket in the middle. And it sees the trash, goes over it, traps that trash and brings it back to shore. But it has a very powerful software on top of it that gives it autonomy through the water. It can see ducks, it can see boats, it can navigate itself around there. There are a couple of ways to control the robot then. How do you do it? That's right. So you can um, control it manually with a remote control. And on the remote control, you just steer it. And through the camera, you can see where you're going if you, if you can't see it anymore. And then you can uh, have it in autonomous mode. And autonomy can be one of two things. It can either follow a set route, so GPS points on a map, and it'll hit, hit all those points. Or you have it go uh, in a region. So you define an area where it's supposed to go, and it'll clean that whole area. You can, of course, predict with trash a lot of the time where the trash is going to be, right? It's going to be downwind, for example, so you can tell it cleverly where it's supposed to go. But the next phase, of course, is that it does that for you. So we're working on AI technology to recognize trash specifically. As it's traveling autonomously through the water, how does it know what it's coming up against? It's not going to pick up a bird or a, or a fish or wildlife. No, that's right. So it has a LiDAR sensor to see if there's any objects that are in its way. So that it avoids any obstacles like, I don't know, a boat, a duck, uh, whatever. Of course, sometimes the rubbish is a bigger problem. And for that, we need a bigger robot. That's why the team are now working on the Mega Shark, a drone that can be controlled by an operator or still use the remote control or autonomy features. And no matter the size of the vehicle, there are big challenges in developing tech that can navigate itself on water. There's reflections, there's current, there's wind. So uh, yes, object recognition is tricky because, well, you can see it today, it's a sunny day, which means, you know, silver water. So, so there's that, but also moving about in the water is differently than saying moving on land. On the water, you're likely to be pushed around um, by, by waves, by current, by wind. The smaller waste shark can gather around 500 kilograms to a ton of rubbish over a 24 hour period. It could never be enough on its own to eradicate this environmental issue, but it's one solution that could make a dent in the problem. There's many things that are exciting about it, right? You're doing something useful for the world. We're trying to clean up the waterways, but technically it's also very interesting, right? Creating autonomy on the water is, is an area where there's not that many people working on it. So it's really, you know, inventing something new that potentially can have a huge impact on the world.